We are memory keepers, mini evolution, um, die cutting machine. And um, if you're someone that like likes die cutting, but you don't always want to pull out your big scissors and it's not always needed for small die cuts, um, this is a great option. Also, maybe you're someone that wants to try die cutting, but you don't want to handle that big bulky um, die cutting machine that you see sometimes like a, um, maybe a, what is it, a Sizzix Big Shot or a Cuddle Bug. They're not too, too big, but for some people it may be um, too bulky for them. So I'm going to go into what comes with it and demonstrate how to use it and also um, a price point for it. You know, d depending upon where you get it from, it could have a different price. You know, for example, um, Joann's or We Are Memory Keepers versus Tuesday Morning. So I'll share a little bit about that. And um, so I'm going to turn the camera down now so I can demonstrate using it and um, give the other information. Okay. Okay, so now that we're turned down, I can show you this small die cutting machine a little better. So you see it has a handle and you can see that it's really narrow. <laughs> um so it is for smaller dies and I'm gonna show you the plates. It has this um lock and unlock unlock and lock button that's for this the bottom so it could be stationary to your desk um i think depending upon the kind of desk you have it may work differently um mine it does work but i find myself still going like this and i find that it still will lift up a little bit if i apply enough pressure to go like that so the suction for my desk it's not that good but again i think this this part of it functions um like i said it's, it's relative it's relative depending upon what kind of desk you have and so yeah um you know i'm not one to go into all the inner workings and stuff of a device because i just don't know that <laughs> but i know the basics right now of using this which is similar to a regular die cutting machine you see you just turn it it's really just the size. I like the convenience of it. Also, too, if you're traveling, it's something that you could just pop in your bag, whether you're traveling to, um, you know, somewhere else or to, uh, um, how can I say it, a, uh, a crafting retreat, a Bible journal retreat, and you want to take it, make cut out some dyes while you're there. This is this is pretty cute. It's compact. And um, you see now it's not moving. It's not moving at all. Now it just did. So anyway, but I like the fact that I, I could go like this with it. So, you know, and it doesn't take a lot. to like you got to hold it down to use it. Um, as a matter of fact, I was using it um, at one point without that suction thing. So, but um, it it is handy. It has its purposes. So anyway, so um, I'm going to how much one second i forgot how much i paid for this one minute um i'm gonna check it right now but as i'm searching for it because i could pull up my receipt here um someone got the entire kit with some additionals for 24.99 at tuesday morning so that's why i was saying that there are different price points depending upon where you get it so i paid this was i got it for 38.19 which i don't think it's bad some places have it for higher um in the tuesday morning by me they don't have that many stuff so um but i consider that i don't have to pay shipping and different things because i got it off of amazon um i'll try to leave a i'll leave a link to it in the description section of this video an affiliate link but um i do suggest that you look other places if you are interested in purchasing this because um it's a great possibility you can get it for um cheaper than i got it and like i said i'm gonna show you what it came with but the woman like i was saying that woman 
that I watched her video. She got it for $24.99 from Tuesday morning. And she got more than what I got with it. Because she got the advance kit. So, let me move some stuff to the side here. So, of course, it comes with the directions, which is cool. Um, it comes with the die cutting um, instructions and the embossing instructions on, you know, what plate to use um, to do to do the die cut and to do the embossing, which I like that. And it's very simple. It looks like a lot. That's because it's in different languages, but it's really not a lot. Okay. And I'm going to demonstrate it. So it comes with these, two, it comes with three plates. Okay. Um, it's the embossing plate for E. What's it? That's for embossing. The B plate for, it's a buffer plate, right? This is when you're using die cuts. And then it has this, which is the cutting plate. So, when you're doing die cuts, you use a cutting cl cutting plate and a buffer plate. When you're doing embossing, you do you use the buffer plate and the embossing plate. So, that's cool. It also comes with this pack of dies. This is cool. These dies, um, circles. Um, I believe the advance kit comes with more dies. The advance kit comes with... Uh, advanced precision press you know um to to do some stamping and it also comes with some stamps um okay and so it also comes with these two embossing plates so i think that's cool um i'm sorry embossing folder sorry about that embossing folders and these are the dies okay and it comes with a pack of cards. Now, I don't remember a card, so a pack of cardstock. I don't remember how much cardstock is in it. When I upload the video, maybe I can find it and then I'll put it. So, so that's that. I like this. I mean, for the convenience, I think it's worth um, 30 something dollars because it's not really the that it's how can I say this high, high tech um, item. It's the convenience. Sometimes when something is small, it costs mo more money because it's convenient and you can take it with you everywhere. Whereas that big scissors, imagine taking that big shot, which um, maybe I should show that because everybody that's watching this video may not know what a big shot is. So I'm gonna take out, I'm gonna show that so you see the big difference. But this is definitely for little dies. So this is the big shot. This is its big shot. So this compared to this. Oh my God. So, you know, imagine trying to lug this with you around somewhere. If you want to go to like retreats and crafting parties and stuff. This. The only thing is, of course, with, um, with this one, the dies that you can cut out with it is, could be but so big. And then like... These you can use with the, these you can use with the Big Shot, right? But you can't use the bigger ones with the Mini Evolution, so. But, um, yeah, so, now, let me show a couple, let me move this out of the way. I'm gonna bring it back. I'm just gonna show one of the things I cut out using this. This is one thing that I cut out. And I actually use the other part, which is usually the throwaway to do some inking on a card. But um, it didn't come out too well because, um, where did I put that thing? Oh, because um, I had ink all over the place. But I still was able to do, like, the circle. I was trying this technique. And um, I could do it much better. But it got kind of messy because the ink had, when I was inking, moved down. I just took some marking and tried to do some dots. But I won't be using that for anything. I'm throwing that away. But that, I just showed it to you so you can see, like, I didn't just use what I cut out. I used the other part as a mask for something on that card. Um, trying out a technique, which I will try to do again and get better at it. Because I like it. Um, and uh, when I do do it, God willing, I'll show the video. Um, if I record it, I'll show the video um, of the woman that I learned from. Okay, and then I cut out these. So these were stamped first um, before I die cut them using this one is by Hampton Art with the birdcage. 
and there's a little bird that I left and I'm gonna cut that out you'll see that and then these um by jelly bean soup also by Hampton art um, some faith-based die cuts and stamps for this and this was um, the Hampton art stamp book what's the name of this one um, it's from Hampton art but this is not okay both are from Hampton art okay <laughs> but one just says jelly bean on top okay so let's go ahead and look at a demonstration of this well you're looking I'm doing okay so now I'm going to use a piece of this cardstock and I'm going to do the die cuts first and I'm going to do a die I'm going to cut out um you know a die cut using the dies they gave so like I was saying I need for the die cut I need plate B and I need cutting plate C so the cutting plate is labeled C I'm going to put this E to the side because I do not want to mess that up. Okay. And actually, I try, I made a mistake and it didn't cut out anything. So, um, I wonder if one is thicker than the other. Sure enough is. It sure enough is. Okay. So, then you have the cutting plate. Let me make sure I'm in frame. Hold on one second. Okay, great. Yes, I'm in frame. So, you have the cutting plate first, then you have the paper second, right? And then you have the die, um, the die. Now, I use, see, when I'm using my Big Shot, I have a magnetic plate. So, once I put the die down on the, on the paper with um, the die, I don't have a problem with things shifting around. But this is not magnetic. And so what you... Oh, I have some already cut out. What you can... This is like... I think this is called mint tape. I got this from... We... um From um, scrapbook.com. Um, I don't recall the name of it. But I will put it up when I put up the video. So you'll probably see it right here. Or a few minutes... Uh, a few seconds before I said that. But... um. You can use basic washi tape for it. Um, I wanted to try that out. So I only got one piece, one roll rather. And um, this will help prevent the dye from shifting around. Because like I said, this cutting plate is not magnetic. So um, you take it. And now I am going to move this over. I'm going to use that, press it down. Although like I said, sometimes it comes up. And simply just go ahead and put it through. And I see that it's moving, so I'm going to just use it, hold this up here. Go like this. And I have some other dies I'm going to use too, so. Okay. And then I, I go back again. Some people don't do that, but I don't have a problem doing that. Okay. Okay. And, you know, sometimes it looks, it sounds like it's breaking. It's not. That's just the mechanics of it all. So, it came out. And so, now we have this nice stitched circle. It looks so nice. Okay. Um, let me take this up. Take the tape off. This tape, you see, it holds down pretty well. Okay. Right now. So now I'm gonna take it off of here. I'm putting it over here because I'm gonna use it again. All right, so look at that beautiful stitched um, circle. That is so nice. Okay, so I'm gonna show something that additional that I could do with this. So I'm gonna put this to the side and I am going to make another one because since I'm doing this, Sorry about that, y'all. One minute. Let me take a white piece of paper. This cream and white in this packet here. So I'm going to use this smaller circle here. And I am going to move it up some because I don't want to waste this paper. You see this? I'm going to do something with this paper here. You're going to see. Because it's so easy to um, waste paper with this stuff. 
but if you have a die cut that's a die that's small that could fit here, you can make good use of the paper. Not waste it. So let's do this again. Turn it over. B plate. Go ahead, put this in. Okay, here we go. gonna go back because I figured I don't have to go through the whole thing because when I heard that popping sound I really yep and I can see that that worked so here we go let me move it to the side here take this off y'all gonna hear that noise because I have the window open so quite noisy but sometimes you know when I hear that I just start praying for wherever they're going Lord um, have your way and um, pray that everyone is safe and then whatever they're going to that they can deal with it gratefully and everything will be all right excuse me Lord help so hold on once. I wonder. Okay, I thought um, somebody was um, crying. Okay, so now I have this right. So I'm gonna do a couple of more um die cutting, and I'm gonna play some music, and then I'm gonna come back and show the embossing. Okay, and then I'll just show everything at the end. Um, these are some cute dies. Like, oh my God, some keys and some sewing stuff. I'm not going to do everything that's in here. They have a thimble, but they have this. It's like sewing stuff and keys. Um, actually, this is not a whole kit. And I, I don't remember. I don't remember where I got this from, honestly. So, um, I'm sorry about that. But, okay. So, I have made a mistake. So, I actually edited this video. Um... I did something. I don't know. That was really silly of me. I put everything upside down. I mean, well, I put it up when it needs to be face down this way. So I'm just going to, I'm still going to use this paper. So I'm going to turn it around. And, um, I'm going to play some music while I show me cutting out the rest of these dots. And then I'll show them when I come back. Okay.
finished with the die cut. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly show the embossing. And then I'm going to share some things that I learned along the way with this. Because I used it before. Um, I did this actually two times. But, you know, as with anything when you're learning, you may learn something new or realize something that you was doing incorrectly. And um, I left some of my mistakes in there so you can see and learn from those mistakes because this is not, I'm not an expert at this. Um, I do do die cutting, but this machine is new to me. And not only that, once again, you can always learn something. So anyways, now I'm going to use, I only have these two embossing folders that came with it. That's this size. The other embossing folders I have cannot nowhere in shape, form, or fashion fit in this. Um, but remember, I did that circle in the beginning. Um, I want to use that for something. But actually, I'm going to use a smaller one. This one here. And I'm going to put it in the embossing folder. I forgot which way to put this. So if I wanted the deboss, it's going to go here. And the emboss is going to go here. Okay, so let's see. I'll put it this way. Actually, it really don't matter to me because I can turn it both ways. So, well, yeah. Anyway, I'll do it this way. And I'm just going to put it in there in the embossing folder. And I have to use the buffer plate, which I'm, I did something to this buffer plate, but it's getting better. And I'll tell you what I did wrong. And I'm going to use the embossing plate. So I have the buffer plate and the embossing plate. So the embossing plate goes first. And um, you know what? I'm wondering if I should have had it face down like this. I don't know if it even really matters, but we'll see. And then I have the buffer plate, which I'm going to turn upside down. I'm going to use this way. And so um, I'm going to take this. I, I've been using this to stabilize it when I go to put it in. And I think that's what it was for. I don't know if it's supposed to stay. If I'm supposed to activate the suction um, for the, dur the duration of the whole die cutting process. Or is it just to initially get it in? But that's what I've, that's what it's been helping me with. So we're going to go ahead and run this through. Here we go. This one is much easier <laughs> than the die cut because you don't have to add, you don't have to worry about anything slipping around really. I mean, I mean, I guess you can, but look at that! Oh my goodness, look at that, y'all! Look at that beauty. Let me hold it up. So if you want some textured pieces, I just love that, and I make sure the part. How I got it to have this embossed look instead of the debossed look is I made sure the raised part was flat down and the in the D part deboss part was on top of what we I want the texture to show. Um, so when it was embossed, when I just embossed it, um, I got the raised part here. Okay, so now I know because you know I never really paid much attention to that to be honest with you i think it's because i always use like a regular flat sheet of paper so whatever side it came up on it didn't matter but with this even though it wouldn't have mattered much it was clear to me when i went like that when i was saying like both it doesn't matter what side the stitch side looked it looked more um how can i say when i looked at looked at it it looked more prominent on one side than it did on the other so, but still, it wasn't, I wasn't going to make a big to-do of it, but I did notice that quickly. So now for this, I'm going to make sure, once again, that raised part is on top. I mean the raised part on the bottom. Okay. I got the E-plate here. So I'm just going to, they call it making a sandwich. I'm going to go ahead and put this here. Um... And I'm going to put this here. And now, here we go. Where's the D plate? The buffer plate. 
I'm gonna go ahead and use this to lock it in while I'm just going through. And somebody's playing. I have to. Okay, let me go back. I don't think I had to do this again. I didn't have to go back. So I hope I didn't mess anything. No, it didn't mess up. Look at that yumminess. Look at that. That is some nice texture right there. Okay. All right. So what I do want to do is I want to use this piece in a Bible journaling page that I'm doing. And so ooh, look how that is. If, I'm, if it was... And um, I think I want to use these strips on. I'm going to make these into some strips. So that's going to help. So I'm going to go ahead and, and wait a minute. Make sure that I did it right. Yeah, I did. Um, okay, here we go. That's why I cut some out in this color because the cars have some butterflies with this color. I really like how smooth this feels. It's just like, wow, I really like that. Now, um, I'm gonna go into some things that I learned with this. Okay, so good, that's embossed. Okay, so as you can see, I think this part right here was easy, uh, real much easier, the embossing, because I didn't have to do this. And also, you know, um, I just embossed a card in that circle, well, that rectangle, the circle in the strip, which was easier. But there are more intricate things you can do with this. I'm just demoing the basics um as i'm learning it this is my third time using it um i used it two times before and so now and i mentioned my thoughts about the suction part and i do think it's relative to what type of desk you have um ooh, that was pretty um stuck there wait a minute okay again yeah relative so um, I like this machine, this, you know, manual machine. I really think it's convenient. Look, I could pick it up with one hand. It doesn't, it's bigger than the size of my palm, but still, look how convenient. And then, you know, you know, just putting it in. I think um, I'm really new at managing something this small when it comes to the embossing and die cutting. So, um, I think with the die cutting, I'm still like wonky with it. And I think that's because it is small. And also too, I noticed that when I was putting the plates in, um, I tried to let go of the plates while I was turning, I think too soon. And it was making it go on a diagonal. So I had to stop and straighten it out. Also, too, I was rushing and I didn't realize that I put the B plate the other way and it bent it. It got bent, but it's still very much usable. And these plates, you can straighten it out. You know, there are many videos on YouTube to show. Okay, so there are many. I was saying something that I had to stop for boy. So, there are many videos on YouTube to show how to straighten out these plates if they get bent. But, it doesn't prevent you from using it. But, what I did find was that it was harder for me to put inside. So, I had to go like this. And then, I was able to do it. Um, to, you know, get it through. Because, I bent the plate. Um, and, that, like I said, I wasn't paying attention to um, the direction I was putting. And, I was moving a little bit faster. A little bit too fast, I should say for um one of the the die cuts um but what i did even though i could still get it in like this is i just went ahead and flipped it upside down and i really don't think the orientation of the plate itself matters i i believe what matters is what plate you're using so um but it does get scratched up and that is so normal 
I've watched videos in the past with like Sizzix and Big Shots and people have gotten so nervous when they've seen stuff like this. But this is part of the process um, because you are using something metal to cut a piece of paper. So naturally it's going to cut into the plastic. So that's just a part of it. Um, and even a little cracking sound that you hear. So um, this is very, very basic what I did with this um, mini die cutting machine. And just this is a basic die cutting process. So I'm going to go ahead and show um before i um oh yeah what's another thing i wanted to say something oh yeah thank you lord using this tape you have to be careful um i didn't use it too well i tried to cover up the whole part of this thing here when i was laying down the um the die and it got stuck on the paper and then when i went to go take it off it ripped so that's not because of the machine in any way. You know, the product, that's my fault. Um, so um, I realized that I don't have to take the whole thing down. I could put a piece across um, something or just on the side. But I don't have to go like, go beast with it. Like, oh, I got to tape it all over. No, that, that's not necessary. And I think it was something else. Oh, another thing, um, which I used to have a bad habit of doing this. Sometimes, like, turning it this way. But I edited that part out. But you want to make sure, like, the ridges of your die is turned down. Because it only makes sense, right, that this raised part is what's going to cut the paper once pressure is on it. If it's flat, like, why would it cut, you know, unless you were cutting off on the edges here but you know when you look at the mechanics of it you know um and you think about cutting it just makes sense that this raised part is what's going to cut into the paper um if you have any understanding of you know cutting paper or sharp objects which most of us do um yeah so this is embossed what i just did with the embossing so that's simple enough to see and I like cutting these things out in advance because then when I'm making ephemera or art journaling or art prayer journaling cards or Bible journaling, I have um, little pieces that I can use that's already prepared. And so um, the thing is finding a way to organize it so you know what you have um, cut out. So here are some tags. Um, so it comes out some decent size things. So I got those three sizes in the die um in the tags. Um I have some other tags that um I'm gonna try with this, but I didn't want to feel like digging all that out for this video. And so here are the sewing machine pieces. I really like these and I did this, these keys, because I'm gonna use that in something along with this. With the butterfly theme card I was talking about when I showed the embossing. And so look how nice they did a real it does a really good job. Right? And then these this circle, the first circle that I did. I like the stitching around it. It's so nice. It gives the circle some interest. And then these little dollies which let me tell you something about this when i i cut out several of these on um another on my um i was on another die, die cut machine which is my sizzix big shot and let me tell you something oh my goodness talk about fussing to get these things out i didn't have a precision plate at the time so getting those little things out was a headache. And I think it was a it was like a turn off um to cutting out the dots, even though I like them, but you know, having to fidget with those little things. But now that I got a precision plate for the Sizzix, this is much easier. But what I found interesting is that with this little machine, those things came out so easy. I use this to like brush a little bit and this is good for die cutting um, to clean up 
um, to, well, to clean out your dye and to clean out the dye cuts when they're very intricate, this is good. If you want me to explain this further in another video, um, if somebody mentions it, then I'll do, I'll probably do it anyway at some point because I think it's a nice product to show if you have intricate dyes. This one have a magnet, magnet on the top so you can just pick up the, you know, your dyes, not lose them. So that helps. But I'll show the purpose of this was or something else comes with it um, in another video in more detail. So these are the dyes. And this is the die cutting machine, the mini evolution from We Are Memory Keepers. And again, it comes with this paper cardstock. I forgot how much it comes with. It has the dies, some dies that it comes with. You can always buy more dies and embossing folders. And we have um, these embossing plates. And down um, here, some other stuff. Oh, you know what? I meant to show. Oh, I'm going to show one more thing because I really in here are the plates, right? I cut this. I did this purposely to show this and I totally forgot, but it's this. I really wanted to show something like this that is stamped and then you want to cut it out. I really wanted to show that. So I'm going to just show. And I got the little bird here, which I'm going to do that one too. Because you see, I had to cut the paper down. So I think this is good to show because it's not the whole paper. But I did some without the whole paper anyway. But I'm going to go ahead and tape this down. Oops, do I? Yeah, that's enough. It looks like it's a little um too big, but the dye itself, it's it, it's it's good enough for the dye itself. Um, where's the plate? This is the, the big plate. That, so I'm going to go right here. Put this here. And now, on this door. And I'm going to do that little bird because it's on a little piece there. See, remember what I was saying before about, like, not having it all the way. What is going on? Did I put a... Oops. I didn't... Oopsie. Wait a minute. I got to make sure this is together. Okay. There we go. Oopsie. Okay, there we go. See, sometimes I handle it kind of wonky, but somebody that's more experienced, they're going to have do this a little bit better. I don't know what's going on now. Okay, there we go. Why well, I had to hold it like that. Do I got the right plate? I do. I don't know what I was doing that. Maybe it was where I had to die. I don't know. But I still wanted to show this little piece here. Um, I think it has something to do with how oh, I had the plates in. Good Lord. All right. But anyways, it did work. Well, see, this thing is not easy to break, but that doesn't mean it can't. So I still want to be careful with using it, how I'm using it. So that's nice, right? How it just comes out like that. And then we got this little bird. It's already here. So let me go ahead and try that with the bird. Yeah, I don't know what that other thing was about. I don't know why that happened, but. Mm. It could be because I bent that plate. But it's still workable. But just be careful if you do get it. You know, sometimes it's just stuff we can start rushing and then we forget to flip plates and stuff upside down. And... Okay, so here we go with this little cute little bird. Let me take this bit tape off. I think that's what this is called, but like I, I showed it. Well, by now I had already showed it, so I would know it when I go to... Well, no, 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 because I'm making the video. I don't know. I would have already shown it, though. Because I said that I was going to do it previously. So. Alright, let me get this up here. Oh, look at this cute little bird. Oh, my goodness. Uh, it's free from its cage. Alright. Yeah. Oh, I know we have to put birds in cages when they're in our house. But sometimes it's like... Mm. Alrighty, so 
Cause you know birds fly free, fly free, free. Okay, we're free, free to fly like an eagle. All right, so that's it with this video. So um, with that being said, I wanna say thanks for watching. God bless you and remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye. Thank you.